sponsored by Winwing Technologies. They couldn't offer the full cockpit, but we think this is the next best thing. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A few days ago we did this video. 1975, the F-15 Streak Eagle 0 to 30,000 meters or 98,000 feet. Time to climb record. Could we beat it in DCS? We did it, but we did not get the record. As expected, because we were using a combat version of the aeroplane rather than the record attempt version. So you guys said, how about a follow-up? It's going to be fun with a bit of learning along the way. First, we had to look at which aircraft held the various records. The two main records we found were the 0 to 15,000 meter, about 50,000 feet, and the 0 to 30,000 meter, just under 100,000 feet. Now, I was expecting these to be held by modern planes, F-22 Raptors, super powerful planes, the Su-57, the Chinese Mighty Dragon, and so on. But they weren't. The 30,000 meter, 98,000 feet, is still held by the Streak Eagle, set in 1975. Nothing has beaten that as yet. 45 years old. The 15,000 meter record, about 50,000 feet, was set and is still held by the P-42. And we tried to beat the Streak Eagle with a production model combat ready F-15C with 30% fuel. That's just the amount we needed to do the objective. At that takeoff weight, with that static sea level thrust there, that power to weight ratio there, and you can see we failed miserably. The Streak Eagle got 208 seconds, we took 256 seconds, which is probably about right. The reason is the production combat model we used was less powerful. The Street Eagle had overrated engines. The weight was much heavier, several thousand pounds more weight, and the aerodynamics was more. You have to remember that this, the Street Eagle, was not really an F-15. It was an F-15 base, but with loads of stuff removed. Interior and exterior, even the paint. They didn't even bother painting it to keep it light. Hence, it's low weight here, under 32,000 pounds takeoff with 40% fuel, 50% fuel, I think they had. It's uprated engines to 102% RPM at 51,000 pounds, I believe, giving it a massive power to weight ratio of 1.6. This, the P-42, which I'm just learning about now, is an absolutely fascinating aircraft. It's an Su-27 base with a completely different nose cone. Instead of composite, it's aluminium, much lighter. No ventral fins down here just taking them off. No deployable slats, removed and fixed items replaced. Not even any flapperons, just replaced with fixed items. No weights at the top of the fins, all this stuff just being completely removed, which not only changed the weight, but also the aerodynamics of the aircraft. And that's how it got the 50,000 feet record. 35,000 pounds takeoff weight with the fuel required, 52,000 pound uprated engines, and a takeoff power to weight ratio of 1.47. So, sorry, lots of numbers today, but it is very interesting. And that brings us to today. Today's task is to gain the new records, the 15,000 meter and the 30,000 meter. I set my task of finding what I would consider the four most likely aircraft in DCS that we could do this with. The metric I've used to decide that is the power to weight ratio. Now, that's not everything. You know, you have to have good aerodynamics. You have to have a good lift and whatnot as well. But it's just an easy metric to use. So the aircraft that I've chosen are the MiG-29A, the F-22A Raptor, the Su-57, that's Russian, and the European EF-2000 Eurofighter Typhoon. These have the best power-to-weight ratios available in DCS. Just to show you that we did try some other contenders, we tried the F-104 Starfighter, but power-to-weight ratio is way down there and it's not going to stand a chance, however good that plane is. SR-71 we thought might stand a chance, but no. In reality, it's not a good climber. So these are the four that we're doing today. Let's go over a few more numbers and then we'll get underway. MiG-29A with 25% required fuel for the 15,000 meter run. Just under 26,000 pounds, just under 37,000 pounds of static sea level thrust that will change at altitude and at speed, but this is the basic metric. Giving an astonishing power to weight ratio of 1.42, the same as an F-15C. Next, the F-22A Raptor. It needs 20% of fuel in-game. Note I put a star by it, that means a mod. That means the realism of the aircraft is not guaranteed. It's a third-party mod. With a weight in-game of 32,000 pounds just above and static sea level thrust of the amazing 70,000 pounds gives it an almost unbelievable, and I'm not entirely sure this is right, but this is how it is in-game, of 2.17, which makes it the highest power to rate ratio aircraft ever made in history, as far as I'm aware. Su-57, 20% gas, giving a weight of 45,500 pounds, much heavier than a Raptor. 
less power at 66 and a half thousand pounds giving it a power to weight ratio 1.46 bigger heavier not as powerful probably not going to be as fast and finally the mighty ef2000 typhoon about 20 percent gas we're going to use 26,000 pounds 40,000 pounds of static sea level thrust from the eurojet giving it 1.53 which is very good in terms of how we're going to try for the record, we've done a few hours of experimenting, or I have, uh, with SOC. Uh, I should say I've got RC here, the actual flying. Say hello, RC. Hello. We did a few hours of practicing with Damp a few days ago to work out which is the best way of gaining the best time in the various fighters, because these fighters all fly differently. And so you have to try and achieve the record differently with each one. So the MiG-29 and the F-22 for the 15,000 meter record are going to take off get to mark 0 0.65 or calculated and then head up all the way to the record at 60 degrees why is it that number no idea we tried 50 we tried 70 60 is best these two are different for reasons i don't know these take off get to 300 knots and they go straight up 90 degrees you get the slightly the best figure there and for all four of them the best way of getting the record as far as we've found is copying the streak eagle method this method here as we saw last time Take off, mark 0 0.65, 2 and a bit G Immelman, full power up to 37,000 feet. And then again, 60 degrees. Something about that 60 degree figure seems to be work well with this jet, uh, these jets. Up 60 degrees all the way up to 98,000 feet. If they can make it, that is everything explained. Lots of figures, and I apologize for that. But it's important so that you know exactly which methods we're using so that you can go and repeat it. And test it if you want. Of the four aircraft today, RC, MiG-29, F-22, Su-57 and Typhoon, have you got any inkling as to which will do well and which won't do very well? I mean, it's a definitely an issue with the mod thing because you just don't know. We know that the non-mods are modeled as best they can do to realism. The other ones, we just don't know. So, hard to say. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure these are going to give us, one way or another, these are going to give us the best chance of breaking the records. I can tell you now, everything else in DCS, at least in core mods, won't do it. Welcome in Valley Viewers. I'm in the F-22, first of all. He's in the uh, MiG-29. The reason being is these two work to the same climb profile for whatever reason they do best. Okay, my altitude's down at the bottom left there, my GPS altitude. Uh, the timer clock is down at the bottom right. We're going to be plus one minute. The pitch... You can see down here where my cursor is in degrees. Right, RC brakes on and find your biting point, please. We'll be as efficient as we can. The real aircraft had uh, kind of a cheating start. They were both tethered to trucks and then the tether cut gave them a massive advantage. We can't do that in DCS. 20 seconds. Place your bets now, valued viewers. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1, go. Oh, come on, Raptor. Oh, come on, Raptor. The power. So much power cap gear up make sure your flaps and everything are up okay sea level to mark 0 0.65 both of these on 0 0.65 which is coming now off stick 4g pull 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 4g and 60 degrees hold 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 right the work's done now we wait let's see where rc is oh he's right behind me it's right behind me Jeez, that's getting close. Slightly above pitch. Pitching down. Here comes RC. No! The mighty okay. Raptor RC. Right, you're leading now. I'll follow you. All Keep right. an eye on altitude. What's the altitude you want me 49. 49. You're currently okay. level... Yeah, with me. So make sure you give me a really good warning of when you want me to stop. Very hard for me to right. guess when you're going to say it. Unbelievable, RC. Look at that. That is freaking Unbelievable. Coming through 40. Yep, right. Okay. Forty-five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Stop. You know, to within a few hundred feet, valued viewers is only so accurate. But wow, that's almost to the foot. That was luck more than anything. It did it in one minute and twenty-six seconds, which is eighty-six seconds. Now awkwardly I've got to pause it, unpause it, and pause it again for the raptors, so uh, uh, 
within 50 feet near enough. For me, it was 88 seconds for the Raptor. And that is pretty much what we got in practice, plus or minus maybe one second. So that's about as good as we're going to get. Next, we're going to do the 15,000 meter in the SU-57 and the Typhoon. I'll take the Typhoon. RC will take the SU-57. For whatever reason, these guys here clock their best time going straight up, which is a bit weird, but that's the way it is. Okay, brakes on, find your biting point, RC. Three, two, one, go. Got oh, the better start. But he's catching up, RC's he's catching up. Right, gotta concentrate now. To the uh, end of the runway is about what we want, and then half stick, up. but don't over G. Half stick, but don't over G. And 90. Let's do it. Oh, I got the speed. Don't over G. It would take me forever to make the pull if I didn't over G. In this thing, Aussie's catching up slightly. Right, I'm slightly off 90. There we go. Comes back on 90. As long as it's near enough. Where is it? Too oh god. Here go. Right, you have to let me know your altitude, Aussie, because I can't see you. I'm at 32 right now. Right, well I'm at 39, so I'm gonna get there first. Right, and four, five, six, seven. A nine. Woo! Right. Wow, look at the time on it, RC. Unbelievable. 64 seconds. What the hell? And I was yeah. accelerating. I was Mark 1.16 by the end there at 50,000 feet, which is a bit silly, really, because the engines aren't really making any power at that altitude. But uh, there you go. Okay, I'll see. I can now see your altitude, so please just try and get as straight as you can. And go. You're supersonic as well. I'm trying to get it straight. It's not really cooperating. Here we go. Gotcha. Okay, you got 69 seconds. 69. We managed to get 67 with the uh, fell on in practice, but you know what? That's near enough uh, for what we're doing today. We're trying to get the record, and it's clearly going to be the Typhoon that's going to get the record. Welcome back. Right. 30,000 meter trial. Our season in MiG-29. I'm in a Raptor. We've had to put more fuel in each of them. So all of the aircraft are two to 3,000 pounds heavier now. We're going to do the same method as the Streak Eagle. We are modifying it slightly. We find a slightly lower G for the inwoman works better in these planes. I don't know why. Right, otherwise, brakes on uh, and find your biting point. Three, two, one, go. Go, big Raptor. Go, big Raptor. Airborne. Sea level up to Mark 0 0.65 and await my pull. And half sick. 2G or slightly above. Here we go. Wow. Subsonic. 2.1G. 7,000 feet. 2.2G. Supersonic. Supersonic. Oh, I see he's catching up. If you take the lead, you just carry on the pull. Yep. Okay, I'm over the hump now. Still 2.1 G. Wow, what a race, RC. It's such a good race. Two really good planes. Oh, I love to do this in real life. Okay, level out as soon as you're naturally level. Okay, leveling off now. I'm on a heading of 1, 2, 0. I'm climbing to 30,000 feet. Once, sorry, I'm climbing to 37,000 feet. Once you're at 37,000 feet, then level off. Then I'll pause it, then we'll talk through the rest of the experiment. Okay. Tell me when you're at 37,000 feet. Oh. I will be when you are. Right yeah, I just realised I'm, I'm looking at the wrong bar because I'm an idiot. So I'm going up again. Doesn't really matter, it's fine. Okay, I am going to pause. Now, we have the luxury of being able to pause like this because uh, it's a game. Right oh, it's so freaking equal. You could not write that. Yeah. That is so... Because I have more fuel now, so I'm slow, yeah, slower. Yeah, you have, you've got less fuel than me. I've got uh, 2,000 pounds more fuel than you because I suck it down. I've got bigger engines. Okay, I'll see. Anyway, we're going to carry on at this altitude until we reach around Mark 2. When one of us reaches Mark 2, and I will keep an eye on you and try and keep an eye on you to your speed because I'm aware you don't have a Mark meter, then you'll pull up at 60 degrees and maintain 60 degrees. It'll be about a 4G pull uh, to get up to 60 degrees. And... That's it. So, are you ready to level off and get Mark 2? Ready. 3, 2, 1, go. Level off. Right, I've got a lovely big Mark meter right there, look. 1.2. What a race. What a race. Mark 1.3. 
Go Raptor. I love both these aircraft. Well, I love the MiG more. Okay, I'm the Raptor's growing on me, I must admit. The sheer power of the thing is just nuts. Look at that. Mark 1.5. Oh, it's so equal, it's stupid. I think I'm pulling away a bit. Yeah, you are. In terms of aerodynamics, he's more slippery than me. I've got a big funking body. Look at the size of my body. It has to encapsulate all of the missiles and stuff, so I've got a bigger body. I'm almost certainly going to be more draggy. But I've got more power. More power. Okay, Mark 1.8. And I'm going to assume you're about the same mark. You're pretty much neck and neck, you know? Yeah. Hard to say. Roger. I'll give it to Mark. I'll go a little bit faster, uh, just because you're slightly slower. I'll give it to Mark 2.1. And that should equal everything out, I imagine. Um, you can't get it too wrong. It kind of makes, you know, it, it... Oh, I can't really explain it. Just trust me. Okay, we're going to 4G pull on 3, 2, 1, go. 3G. Oh, that's harder than it looks. 4G. Up to 60 degrees. Right, we're going for 98,000 RC. Keep me informed of 98,000, please, on the bar. 60 degrees. That's it. 60,000 feet. Oops, sure, I went too high, I went too steep. Again, if you get the trajectory slightly wrong, it kind of evens itself out, I found, so it does, it's not, you know, plus or minus 10 degrees is, basically works fine. Okay, I'm at, 80, speed. Uh, I'm at 82, 84,000 feet. Just passing through 88. Right, you're, you've overtaken me, I'll see, so you've got to tell me when you hit 98. Speed. Minimum speed. Five. Minimum speed. Six. Seven. Minimum speed. Eight. Wow, you beat me. You just took off like a rocket ship. And that's fair enough. You are half my weight. Plus right. I'm almost empty fuel. Wow, we got that to within like 100 feet. That's amazing. Right. Um, I've got to do the maths at standby. 253. Well, yeah, if you're just about empty fuel, that means we've worked on the maths perfectly. And I'm pause. Uh, keep going. See how high you can go, I'll say. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make no, it. I'm out of fuel. Ah, you ain't going any higher. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Stop. Well, yeah, I'm pretty much out. I apologize, but I just didn't make it. I got to 95,000, round it up to 96. But 000. I got 102, 102, 4. Nice. 2, 6, 3, but I only got to 96k. Wrapped a little bit too heavy, I'm afraid. Last race of the day, RC in the SU 57. I'm in the Eurofighter brakes on spool. Uh, it's the same RC, except the we can afford to put a bit more G on the Immelman. Now, assuming I'm going to be ahead anyway, then you just follow my G-loading. Three, two, one, go. I got the jump. I definitely got the jump. Just, just, just. Right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, up and check. Look for Mark 0 0.65. And Mark hit. Putting up now. Oh, I'm on. Slightly over G-ing at 4G. Backing off slightly. 3G. Gosh. Very hard not to over G in this thing. Okay, I'm down to 2.5G. I'm over the apex. Can't do any fancy uh, fly by views because uh, it's very hard to fly this aeroplane. Okay, I'm leveling out now. Let me know when you're leveling out. I'll see you. Yeah, right I'm with you. Pausing. Right, let's right. see what happened. Oh, you're right behind me. Look at that. Wow. That was good, wasn't it? Right. It's going to be another good race by the looks of it. Okay, I'll see. Just a reminder, what we're going to do now is slowly climb to 37,000 feet. And once we're there, we're going to level off and get to Mark 2, just over Mark 2. The exact profile of how we do this doesn't really seem to matter. Whatever you do, it seems to equal itself out. So are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. So I'm working my way up. Now, where's my mark? There's my mark. 1.35, 1.34. I mean, the weird problem where I'm going to maybe go too fast. No, I should be fine. Mark 1.5. This thing is friggin' bullet. Where's I see you going? Oh, you've overtaken me! I'm overtaking Right, you're leading now. Level off at 37,000 feet. Wow, look at that. You're 35. Okay, I've leveled up at 37,000. 
Now, get to Mark 2. If you don't know what Mark 2 is, I will tell you when we get there. I'm at 37 now. Yep, all right, just keep it pinned now. I can't see you anymore, so I'm just gonna trust you down there somewhere. Okay, I'm pausing now. We're pretty much at Mark 2 now. I'm just above Mark 2. Um, 38,000 feet, open check on you. Where are you? There you are, you're over there. Surprisingly hard to control these guys at such high speed. You're at 37,000 yeah. exactly. Uh, let me, you're at 700 knots. I'm at, wow, you're going so fast, I see. You managed <laughs> to get to, I, it's stupid. You've managed to get to game speed. Uh, if I'm at Mark 2, you're about Mark 2.5, 2.6. Perfect. Which is pretty sure the aeroplane doesn't do that, but. Okay, yeah. well, we can only drive them. It's, you know, we're not, it's nothing It to doesn't do. do it based on what I, how I've been flying it for sure. Roger, we're going to go up to 60 degrees now and then pin it. Uh, just be careful because you're going so fast, you'll rip your wings off. We're not immortal or anything, so just chill. There's no hurry. And let's go. Okay. Other than that, you've just got to keep me informed of when you get to 98. 800. Okay, I am at. I should say I'm running version 1.0.0.4 of this uh, Eurofighter, by the way, if you want to uh, marry up my results. All right, I am 60 degrees. All right, keep an eye on your altitude now. Yep. Fast aeroplanes. 87. Wow. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, sorry, I panicked. Uh, <laughs> are you going so fast? Right. Oh, fast. I got you, I got you, 98. I got you a 98 on mine. Uh, that's it. That's 98. Yep. Wow. Yep. That is stupid, stupid fast. That said, who knows? Uh, right, so I've just got to get my calculator out. So it is three minutes, so that's two minutes, 25. That can't be right. Two minutes and 25? That's what it is, isn't it? Two minutes is that's about right. 120. <laughs> okay, 120 plus 25 seconds is 145 seconds, apparently. Uh, gonna call BS on that one, RC. 145 seconds. You might as well see how far you can go. you're showing the unrealistic nature of the mods right now. Yeah, well, if that's what we have to do, then that's what we have to do. <laughs> but it's not quite right, is it? Right, uh, do me a favor, no. see how high you can go. Right, I've still got to do my one, so I, three, two, one, go. Minimum speed. 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 Uh, that's me done there. I was. Uh, I'm at 123,000. You're at 123. Well, this is going to be fun seeing how far so he can go. Uh, I've got to put mine down. So that is 164. There we go. Right, everyone's going to watch RC now because I'm going to see how this thing flies. I'll see. Uh, make history through it to 3, 2, 1, go. Well, the whole server's desynced because you're stuck at 107. You're not going past 107 on mine. Right now, well, on my, I'm still going up. All right, well, it's all up to you then because you're just bouncing off the Wagner roof. I'm starting to shudder. I would complain about this, but I know none of these aircraft can actually go this high in real life, so I can't really put, <laughs> can't really, can't really put a complaint to ED in, can I? Um, okay, 140,000. <laughs> I see you got 140. <laughs> that's even more than the Blackbird. I see you got 140,000 feet in the SU 57. <laughs> uh, I should have known this was going to go this way, but hey, I'm just doing what the valued viewers ask. That's my job at the end of the day. Stand by for the results. So, up to 15,000 meters, about 49,000 feet. Streak Eagle, 77 seconds. P 42, 70 seconds. Uh, MiG 29. 86 seconds. I bet that's probably just about spot on for the aircraft. F-22, 88 seconds. Actually slower than the MiG-29. I think it's maybe possible because like I said, remember, the higher you go, turbofans just don't do very well because of physics. And it's a heavy plane and it's a little bit draggy. So maybe that's probably about right. But you guys tell me. I don't really know. Su-57, a horrendously... Well, I, again, I don't really know, but bearing in mind it's just got a couple of turbofans in and it weighs the earth, it's probably unrealistic at 67 seconds. Bear in mind it's the same as the P-42. I don't know, I'll see. It's so hard to know, isn't it? It's got the same power to weight ratio as the P-42, though, so why couldn't it achieve the same? Hey, I don't know. Then the Typhoon, with a really astonishing 
64 seconds, six seconds faster than a P42 with a bit better power to weight ratio. So who knows? Let me know what you think. Uh, then we get to the 30,000 meter, the big one. Most planes just can't do this. Pretty much the ones we've picked here can do this. Everyone else just falls out of the sky. MiG-29, uh, sorry, Streak Eagle, 207 seconds, which is just friggin' unbelievable. Really is amazing. The P-42 couldn't make it. Just couldn't do it or they didn't register it or whatever. The F-15C, 256 seconds. I would say probably pretty realistic, bearing in mind the figures and the fact it's got worse aero and a lot heavier than the Streak Eagle and less powerful engines. MiG-29A, almost identical to the F-15C, which I would say is probably what I would expect. Again, look at those power-to-weight ratios, almost identical. So why wouldn't they be? Note these are both core DCS mods, modules, whatever. So you expect them to be within about 5%, roughly, of the real planes. And I think that proves they're good, well-modelled aircraft. I'm happy about that. Then we get to the mods. These are external third-party mods. These are not regulated. People can just make them whatever they want. And put, you know, engines from a jumbo jet in if they want. It's up to them. The F-22 got 263. And it didn't quite make it. It was 2,000 feet short. I personally think it's very possible. Heavy aircraft. Those engines don't work very well up there. But I don't really know. Next, things just got, uh, things just got stupid. The SU-57, I'm disappointed with because everyone in the world knows it can't go 140,000 feet. It just can't do it. And 145 seconds, it got uh, 62, 3 seconds less than the Streak Eagle, even though the power-to-weight ratio is worse. It's got turbofans just like the Streak Eagle. It's, it's going to have the same power degradations as the Streak Eagle, roughly. I personally think that's a bit silly, but let me know what you guys think. Typhoon. Again, same thing. It was a bit silly, wasn't it? Because it was 164 seconds. Not as bad as the SU-57. 40-something seconds faster than the Streak Eagle, even though we've got a worse power-to-weight ratio, probably worse aero, uh, because it's a normal combat plane. So I think those are probably a bit silly. But you know what? We asked, can we beat it? And we have. Uh, the new king, according to DCS, is the SU-57. 145 seconds. And the king for 15,000 feet, Eurofighter. At 64 seconds. Take that as seriously as you want, but that's the best we can do. Try it yourself and see if you can get any better figures. RC, anything to add? Nope. Okay, bye-bye.